And what's up, true believers? We're back for part two of G1 Power Glide, Brought to the Universe Classics New Edition form. Like I said, it looked like the bot's been on uh, the Energon steroids. Yeah, he buffed it up. So he's ready for a new battle. Got the Autobot symbol on the chest. You know, we got the, the articulation. It's a very good figure, very poseable. So now we're moving on to the number two guy. We're moving on to Stormcloud. And yes, as I've confirmed, if you go to Transformers Wiki, type in Stormcloud, click on G1, bam, you'll get your bio for this guy right here. So, he wasn't around in the comic book. Or, why do I keep saying that backwards? He was around in the comic book. He was not around in the G1 classic cartoon. As you see, his colors are black, purple, and green. If you clicked onto my web page, or if you clicked onto my YouTube page, you'll see Power Glide on the left side, and you'll see Storm Cloud on the right side. I got them splashed up so you guys actually have proof of the fact that there was a real Storm Cloud. And here he is. Same exact sounds as Power Glide. You know, but with this color scheme right here, it fits. He's definitely looking real menacing. A true Decepticon. Let me check it out. Got the silver Decepticon symbols on the wings. Got the nice flat gray paint. The purple splashes. You know, he looks super menacing. If you get him, you'll dig him. And there's a difference between him and Power Glide. It's a totally different feel if you like really getting the characters. I like stories with good characters. And Transformers has extremely interesting characters. You know? So I'm sure if he was actually in the show, by him being in Transformers Wiki, they said he was a Micromaster. But he was part of Megatron's Airstrike Patrol. And he's like the Starscream of the group out of four of them. This guy right here would have been a very interesting character. So if I ever come across any, you know, G1 comic books, I'll definitely get you guys more information. But for right now, the little bio that they give him on the back of the uh, box, they say he's an expert in electronic warfare. He likes to remain high above the battle. He likes to jam technology. You know, he's uh, more like a spy bot, you know. And he feels like he's a top dog. Hey, I'd love to see it. You guys ever animate Hasbro? You uh, animate some cartoons in reference to the G1 comic book? Throw them in there. I'd be like, happy to see them, you know. Can you dig it? So check it out. There's the underbelly. You got the... Uh, and again, we're going to flip those down, flip that one down. We're going to unlock the cockpit. Bam. Slide that on down. Yeah. Let them know you're here, right? All right. Slide the wings. Uh, let's see. Slide these wings up this way. Let me make sure I keep this on camera so you guys can see that clearly. Uh, let's see. Bring his neck up, slide up his feet, slide him down, unlock him, get him ready. I mean, the color scheme on this guy, to me, is excellent. I'm glad I bought it. I know it's a repaint, don't care. It's another Transformer to the collection. Don't sleep on this guy. He fits the profile of a true Decepticon. Definitely. And I'm glad that Hasbro actually had enough you know, heart, look at that, that green menacing face, he has a totally different feel from Power Glide. They use the same mold, but hey, I can dig it, because I like a good Autobot and a good Decepticon character. Not just the figure, but a character. He fits the bill, you know, of the true Decepticon menace. It would have been real interesting to see him and Power Glide have a couple of battles, you know, should the MicroMasters couldn't have been that much larger or smaller than some of the Scout classes. Nice Decepticon symbol on the chest. The menacing purple right there. The double MM89, whereas on Power Glide you get B12, what is that? B12129? Not sure what that's a reference to, but it's a totally different feel between these two. You know? So, true believers, 
believe it or not, there are some repaints that are actually well worth it. Like if I ever get to a BotCon, or if I ever catch a BotCon, dribbling, I'd love to have it. Because, ah, this is not going smoothly. I don't want it to. Alright, slide those into place. It doesn't line up correctly, but it's cool. You guys forgive me for being a little fumble fingers, but hey, it's like 9 o'clock at night and I've worked pretty hard today. So, then I'm going to make sure I give you guys a quality review, you know, on a variety of figures. This one right here is well worth it. Let's see what's going on back here. Just the right spot. Bam. The exact same articulation as Power Glide. Let's see. Got everything right. Turn the waist. And there you go. One Storm Cloud. The exact opposite of Power Glide. I highly recommend either one of these. First off, they're both Ultra Class, but some of us are Autobot fans, some of us are Decepticon fans. Yeah, put in opposite hands. So you might feel the Storm Cloud vibe a little bit more than you feel the Power Glide vibe. You no. Know? So there they go. So on Storm Cloud, you get the nice purple and black. You get the green on the face. You get the purple and the gray. The feel of this guy, like I said, is totally opposite from the heroic feel that you get from Power Glide. So, there is true believers. Hope you guys can dig both of these figures. I highly recommend them both. Check out Transformers Wiki for more information on some classic characters like these two. Can you dig it? Storm Glide, or <coughs> Storm Glide. That'd be a good name for this review. I might just use that. But Power Glide, Storm Cloud, I recommend them both. They're both well worth it. So until the next review, you guys be cool. All my subscribers, stay tuned. I try to keep them as quality as I can. You know? Everybody be cool, be happy. And you know, y'all be easy. This is Sino signing out. Power Glide and Storm Cloud. If you see them, you like them, grab them. Peace.